video, we're going to show you for Teams how to add and remove an admin. So the new ability now is to remove an admin if you want, and then you can add another admin. So I'm going to come here to settings for the team. We also clicked and made sure we chose our team name. And then we're going to come over here under command settings to add an admin. Now this is going to open up a Kelly guide, which is a wizard. Click get started and first thing it looks like is no admins found because you haven't selected your team yet. So when I select the team, here are the admins found. So this is the one I'm using as a test account. This is the one I just created testing this out. I'm actually going to delete this one. Are you sure you want to delete that account? Yes. So one admin is gone. You're allowed to have up to two. So now you can create an admin if you need a second one. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and create the second one. I'm actually just going to put myself back for this example. Um, it's going to let you copy to the clipboard. So here's my new username. Here's the email address associated with the admin. Click summary. Are you sure you want to approve any of these changes? Click approve updates. Confirm and you're done. Now you're able to have them log into their own account and have admin access for the admin and the team. So again, we went to settings under the team, made sure to choose the team name, came here to add an admin, went through the guide, delete any admins we don't want by selecting the team name. I'm actually going to delete this admin. Are you sure you want to delete that one? Yes. I'm done with what I need to create today, so I'm actually able now to just simply click out of this, and if I wanted to add an admin, I would just go through the steps. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like, leave us a comment below. I'd love to hear from you, and as always, follow me on KB Connect and YouTube today.